Hey everyone, how's it going? Got another episode of Breaking Bad to check out. This is season one, episode two, The Cats in the Bag. I really liked the first episode, the pilot episode of this show. All the characters I really liked. You have Walter, the main character, his wife, uh, his son. You have the actor who plays his brother-in-law, the DEA agent, and he just acts like that typical uncle to uh, Walt's son and he's just perfectly cast in the role so is everyone else um, I even like how the wife of Walter she could have easily been this like one-dimensional character who's just always on Walter's case and who comes across as like kind of annoying but even she's kind of sympathetic because she's trying to get a book written of short stories uh, the son has his disability that he's dealing with Pinkman's a great character who Walter is working with now everything about the show was well done it was well written it was well acted uh, just well made all around I like how in the beginning of the episode it was sort of a cliffhanger like you didn't know what was going on and then at the end of the episode it caught up to where you were at the beginning of the episode and it kind of made everything clear it was just a really great episode a great way to start the series I can see why everyone really likes it I can't wait to continue on with it if you want to see the full-length reaction to this episode as well as other TV episodes and movies that I do reactions to you can check out my patreon the link will be in the description if not just check back every week for the highlight real versions of these episodes can't wait to check it out so here we go Oh, this picks up right where the first one left off. All right. <laughs> Walt's found his passion again. <laughs> it's like, who have I become? What have I done? 12 hours earlier. Now oh, we're back in the first episode now. No, hey, mad, mad props. I could have sworn the guy said mad props. <laughs> but then all of a sudden we're off the main road. Dang, look at his eye. Bam, we're, we're in that ditch. Yeah, bam, I'm like, what the hell, you know? <laughs> oh, yes, and my coffee mug of coffee. Some great acting right here. <laughs> like, just give him a pile of money. <laughs> Can we just dump them here? I forgot they were in there. We will go our separate ways, our paths. We'll never cross, <laughs> and we will tell this to no one. Understood? <laughs> Fine. That goes double for me. It works. <laughs> oh, there's a mask. <gasps> oh, someone's waking up. <laughs> uh oh. And the topic was senior class photos, a photographer of their choice, you know, not necessarily the photographer that the school. <sighs> Just no reaction at her. You know, even the small busted girls have cleavage. Apparently, there's some new type of brassiere. <laughs> what is he going on about? <laughs> the Wonder Bra. It's the Wonder Bra. Yeah? He knows. Okay. <laughs> hey there. Nice breakfast conversation. He would die any minute. Oh. Is she going to catch on? Oh, she's calling back. Yo, one, four, eight, three to the three to the six to the nine, representing the ABQ. What up, B.I.? <laughs> oh, she's like these phone companies and their voicemails. Awfully weird. <laughs> what the heck? Yes, Ben. Is this going to be on the murder? Is this going to be on the midterm? It's haunting him. <gasps> He's escaped. <laughs> he just sees him walking down the street like a freaking zombie. <laughs> oh my gosh. He just ran straight into a tree. <laughs> Well, I guess that made it easy to catch him. <laughs> or, 
number. Oh, looking up his phone number. That looks like an old website. <laughs> Look at that cell phone picture on there. It says his name and address. <laughs> this is a website. Fine herbage. Keeping it real. Just got to keep it real with that fine herbage. <laughs> the streets, yo. <laughs> Ah, that's hilarious. What are they gonna do? Start with his name, at least. Crazy Eight. Crazy Eight, what the hell does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know, man, okay? It means like, like Crazy Eight, okay? I don't know. <laughs> Just means Crazy Eight. Crazy Eight is like the dude that sells Starbucks' his beans. <laughs> okay, so he's a distributor. <laughs> that's the word for it. <laughs> In other words, what is his reputation for violence? Well, um, he did try to kill us both yesterday, so <laughs> there's that. What's what I'm trying to say? There's the reputation. What if he's faking it? You know, like if it was me, I'd be all fake and being knocked out, yo. <laughs> yo, I'd fake being knocked out, yo. Doesn't sound good. Sounds like a monster. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's like making sure I do not want him escaping. <laughs> like you think I have some answer. Well, you gotta do something. <laughs> We have to do something. <laughs> we have got a body in that RV, and it's getting warmer outside, understand? And we've got to do something about that soon, and in a way that no one will ever find it. Now, that, that last part is very, very important. It's pretty crucial. Chemical disincorporation. Be what? Dissolving in strong acid. Ooh. Messed up. Brutal. If one of us deals with the body situation while the other one of us deals with the crazy eight situation. In a scenario like this, I don't suppose it is bad form to just flip a coin. <laughs> flip it. <laughs> oh. That's two out of three. Gets funnier each time. Yeah, what kind of plastic, man? Polyethylene. Well, how the hell am I supposed to know that? Because <laughs> I told you. <laughs> You're supposed to remember. I'll write it down. <laughs> Is he testing it out with his own body? <laughs> Please tell me he gets stuck. <laughs> oh man. Oh. What's he gonna do with the bag? Oh, like put it over his head and choke him out or something? First attempt did not go well. Let's <laughs> make a sandwich for him. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, he's got him too. You gotta go, here's a bucket. <laughs> Just rolled him some toilet paper. Hand sanitizer. How much stuff is he gonna give him? <laughs> oh, 
No way. Is he gonna? Is he gonna use that? <laughs> it's gonna be like, what is going on? Wait a minute. Is that is that my weed? <laughs> what the hell, man? Make yourself at home, why don't you? It's like I made a sandwich too. Sorry, I'll do it tomorrow, I promise. Tomorrow! Got a doctor's appointment, I gotta go. Look, stay away from him. He's awake. <laughs> hey man, we flipped a coin! <laughs> it was official. Oh, I forgot she was pregnant. Girl. Girl. <laughs> you sure? Pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you that's exactly what I was hoping? You remember you said that when she's 16 and starts dating. <laughs> Looking fabulous. <laughs> He's like, oh no. Who is this Jesse Pinkman to you? I can understand, like from her perspective. <laughs> he sells me pot. He sells you pot. Marijuana, yeah. Not a lot. <sighs> I guess if you have to admit something, you might as well admit that rather than <laughs> the other thing. What are you, like 16 years old? Your brother-in-law is a DEA agent. <laughs> what, what is wrong with you? <laughs> if she only knew what was actually going on. What I need is for you to climb down out of my ass. <laughs> Will you do that for me? <laughs> Will you do that for me? Just once. Get off my ass. You know, I'd appreciate it. I really would. <laughs> That's a really nice way to say it. Yeah, all good. You know, it's fine. Just a bunch of meat. Come on. Just a bunch of meat. No way. <laughs> it's the worst timing. Hey, don't touch me. Do not. Touch me. All right, all right, look, not touching, okay? Not touching here. Look, lady, whatever you're selling, I ain't buying, yo. Well, my name is Skylar White, yo. <laughs> my husband is Walter White, yo. Uh -huh. He told me everything. Are you speaking my language now, yo? Do not sell marijuana to my husband. Okay. You get me? I, I uh, think so, yeah. Um, no more marijuana. Mm -hmm. I can, I can dig it. You can dig it. <laughs> you can dig it. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> oh, there you go. The bathtub. <laughs> Let him live down there. <laughs> Just, I don't know. Make sure to feed him like three times a day. <laughs> Dang. What? You said you were just doing some ride along. Yes or no? Do you have a brother in the DEA? He's a brother in law. Oh, well, there's a lot off my mind. <laughs> it's flesh chunks. What the heck? Good going. You see, hydrofluoric acid won't eat through plastic. It will, however, dissolve metal, rock, glass, ceramic. <laughs> So there's that. <laughs> Dang. Now it's even more of a mess. <laughs> oh, are they going to find the mask? <laughs> Ooh. That's some evidence. They don't want to be found. <laughs> All right. So that was a really good follow up episode. Uh, I'm still interested to see what's going to happen with the guy who's in the basement or downstairs or whatever. Uh, because they have him locked up and I think that Walter just seems too scared to actually confront him and and do anything about it so we'll see what happens there looks like the other guy is taken care of uh, in a really sloppy and messy and disgusting way but uh, now they just have to take care of that mess downstairs in a huge hole in the floor really close call there with Walter's wife uh, Skylar almost seeing what Pinkman was doing so they just barely got away with that so yeah this seems to be like their first big 
uh, hurdle they have to overcome, if you can call it that, dealing with two people and seeing what they're going to do. So hopefully in the next episode, we get to see uh, what's going to happen with the guy that they have locked up and seeing what they're going to do about that. I'm sure that'll be really interesting to see what happens there. So I'm excited to see what happens next in the show. I'm wondering if the cops or the DEA is going to find the mask that the two kids found. I'm guessing that's what's going to happen and they're going to try to investigate it. I'm interested to see if Walter and Pinkman can keep it a secret what they're doing and if they can keep it uh, from his wife and from his brother-in-law what's actually going on. So yeah, just excited to see what happens in the next episode. If you want to see the full-length reaction to this episode and everything else that I check out, the link for my Patreon will be in the description. Every week here on YouTube, there should be a movie reaction and some TV episode reactions. So check back next week for those and I'll see you guys next time.